Hey everybody, so I've been getting a lot of questions about how to properly power the old Ariflex 16S camera after I posted the video of it um, a few years back. And um, so I figured I might as well just make a little video and show the cable that I had to make for it. So for all the other stuff regarding how to get the components for powering it, you can watch the other video. Um, but I can show you here that this is the cable that I bought specifically to uh, modify. So it is a DC barrel cable with a uh, DTAP connector. It's made for Blackmagic cameras, but the important thing is having this part that will fit on the battery plate that I recommended buying. And then this is the end that we're modifying. So I have the cable here. This is the LAN part cable. And there you go, you have the barrel connector that'll connect to 8 volt or 12 volt. And then on this end is the modification. So I basically just took apart the uh, D-tap and um, took the two ends. I bought these, went to Home Depot, and I got this right here, bullet splice, five male, five female. I chose the 0.156 diameter because it looked like it would uh, appropriately fit. Um, so as you can see, there's the male bullets and then there's the female, which has the two ends on them. And it's designed for you to stick wires directly into them, and then you're supposed to crimp them with wire crimpers. So you can pretty much accomplish that multiple ways. Once you take apart the D-tap and expose the male and the female, they're basically bullets in and of themselves. Little, they look very similar to those guys. And then uh, you insert those into the back. And you can either use conductive glue or just um, crimping, but whenever you crimp, uh, the wires can still pull out. Um, so conductive glue, glue will help uh, them stay in a little better. And of course I bought multiple colors so I could tell which one was positive, which one was negative. Um, and then once you use the conductive glue, I used liquid electrical tape to bond and basically seal them so it would make them more sturdy. So that way you can actually you know, pull these in and out of the camera. So you can see that I just kind of crimped them appropriate to the size of the contacts in this camera. So if we take a look here at the back, excuse me while I turn this thing around, you can see that there's the context. Uh, the male, which is, I'm sorry, male, the positive terminal, which is on the left, is thicker than the negative terminal on the right. Uh, so we had to take the wire and crimp it appropriately and I just kind of like started getting like snugging it on until it felt like not too tight but not too loose where it would stay on it wouldn't pull out so once you do that this you know it doesn't look amazing <laughs> it's just a kind of a rust job so there's obviously better ways to do it but this is the cable that's kind of like the the basic way of doing it if you want and then once you've done that I can't really do this one-handed I don't think let me see basically Excuse my poor camera work here. They just fit right on. And they grab. I'm sorry, I can't really do this one-handed. But they just go right on. And once they're on and they're crimped enough, they pretty much just stay there. They stay connected. And it takes a, a pretty good amount of force to get them off once you crimp these down just to the right amount to squeeze it properly. So you can see the negative terminal, the blue one over there, I had to crimp that a little more to get it to hold, to hold on to the uh, smaller terminal. Yeah, works like a charm. The other end just plugs uh, straight into the V-mount battery or AB, whichever battery you prefer. And yeah, the thing powers perfectly in the if you have the 12 volt motor, which is the TCS TM23. You pretty much just want to use 12 volts because it's made to work at that voltage and um, you'll probably get more consistent frame rate. It's not crystal sync, focus. It's not crystal sync, but you know, the camera's not really meant for sound sync anyway, so I don't think you really need it. But yeah, there you go. That's the power cable, modified, LAM part, DTAP to DC, to that. Just a simple thing you can buy with electronic components at a hardware store. Hope that helps.